Oof. If there was an award for the most humiliating situation that an aerospace industry legend could ever experience, then Boeing would take the cake. Indeed, the spaceflight titan is now facing more setbacks than ever, with multiple projects encountering serious challenges. First, NASA's SLS is at risk of cancellation. Then, their Starliner program continues to fall short of expectations. Meanwhile, ULA's Vulcan Centaur has hit another delay as it prepares for its next flight. Let's delve into all these latest updates in today's episode of Great SpaceX and find out more. As we enter 2025, most aerospace organizations are making significant strides. NASA is preparing for a new administrator who promises to reshape the agency's future, Blue Origin has finally reached orbit, and SpaceX, the industry leader, continues to push toward even greater milestones. However, one company seems stuck in place, Boeing. The aerospace giant continues to struggle with its latest setback coming in the form of mass layoffs tied to the possible cancellation of NASA's space launch system. On February 7th, Boeing announced that it would be reducing its workforce on the SLS program, citing concerns that the new administration is considering terminating the rocket's development. The company estimates that up to 400 employees will lose their jobs. A staggering number given that Boeing's total SLS workforce stands at around 800, meaning nearly half of the team could be let go. The primary reason for the potential cancellation has been officially cited as revisions to the Artemis program and cost expectations. A Boeing representative explained, To align with revisions to the Artemis program and cost expectations, today we informed our Space Launch Systems team of the potential for approximately 400 fewer positions by April of 2025. This will require 60-day notices of involuntary layoffs to impacted employees in coming weeks in accordance with the Worker Education Adjustment and Retraining Notification Act. This announcement falls under the Worker Adjustment and Retraining Notification Act, which mandates that companies provide at least 60 days notice before conducting mass layoffs. Unless something changes, 400 Boeing employees will be out of work by April. This news comes as a bit of a surprise given the recent positive updates on Artemis II and its SLS hardware. However, the cancellation discussions likely pertain to SLS's role beyond Artemis II as NASA and policymakers reevaluate its long-term viability. Ability. The potential demise of SLS has been looming for some time. The program has been plagued by cost overruns, repeated delays, and extensive technical challenges. A report last year estimated a 75% likelihood of cancellation, and with a new administration taking charge, that possibility has only grown stronger. Boeing has historically been one of NASA's most trusted contractors responsible for key SLS components such as the core stage and upper stage. However, a report highlighted serious issues with Boeing's performance, including poor quality control, significant cost overruns, and delays that hampered the entire program. The decision to cancel SLS will undoubtedly spark debate, as there are strong opinions on both sides. However, at this point, Artemis II is nearly complete, and it is highly likely that SLS will still be used for that mission. Beyond that, its future remains uncertain, and NASA appears to be shifting focus toward alternative solutions. If SLS is indeed canceled, what comes next? For NASA, ending the program could relieve a significant financial burden and allow the agency to redirect resources toward more sustainable and commercially viable projects. However, this would have profound implications for Artemis. The Orion spacecraft, which was designed specifically for SLS, may face integration challenges with other rockets. Additionally, Artemis's reliance on SLS in its later phases means that alternative vehicles such as Starship HLS and New Glenn would need to shoulder a much larger role. Another major question mark is the Lunar Gateway. This planned space station, intended to support long-term lunar exploration, was designed with SLS launches in mind. Without SLS, its fate becomes uncertain, along with several other programs that had counted on the rocket for heavy lift capabilities. Despite the initial shock that canceling SLS would bring, the long-term benefits could be substantial. SpaceX, for example, has likely anticipated this scenario and could step up to fill the void. Starship HLS, already selected for Artemis landings, has the potential to handle the full mission architecture with the right adjustments. For Boeing, however, this would mark yet another failure in a growing list of setbacks. The company's struggles are emblematic of an outdated approach to aerospace manufacturing, one that has failed to keep pace with the rapid innovation of competitors like SpaceX. 
The repercussions of Boeing employees are particularly concerning as many now face job uncertainty in an industry undergoing major shifts. A Boeing representative acknowledged the difficult situation, stating, We are working with our customers and seeking opportunities to redeploy employees across our company to minimize job losses and retain our talented teammates. Still, affected employees may want to consider opportunities elsewhere. Moving to companies like SpaceX or Blue Origin could provide better long-term job security and more innovative work environments. If a significant portion of Boeing's talent pool transitions to its competitors, it would further weaken Boeing's position and accelerate its decline in the industry. In the end, the cancellation of SLS would bring both challenges and opportunities. While it would disrupt ongoing programs, it could also pave the way for more advanced and cost-effective solutions, ultimately benefiting the future of space exploration. What do you think? Should the SLS be cancelled? Let us know by responding with a yes or a no in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already, be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel as we continue to follow SpaceX's groundbreaking journey into the future of spaceflight. Boeing's troubles extend beyond the space launch system, as the company also faces challenges with yet another struggling program, the Starliner spacecraft. For years, Boeing has attempted to bring Starliner to operational status, and 2024 was expected to be a major turning point. This was supposed to be the year of its first crewed flight, following numerous delays and technical challenges. However, instead of achieving a milestone, Boeing suffered another embarrassment when Starliner's Crew Flight Test 1 mission left two astronauts stranded on the International Space Station for months. Initially, the plan was for Starliner to return with its crew, completing its long-overdue human spaceflight debut. But that didn't happen. Instead, the spacecraft was forced to return to Earth empty in September. Since then, Boeing has been alarmingly quiet regarding progress on inspections or necessary upgrades. Recently, representatives from NASA's Aerospace Safety Advisory Panel, or ASAP, indicated that NASA and Boeing have been making progress in their post-mission evaluations. However, the reality is less reassuring. While they have completed observations of the flight's anomalies, they have yet to determine the root cause of the issues, leaving the spacecraft's future uncertain. This ongoing uncertainty has significant consequences. First and foremost, the delays are proving to be a massive financial burden. Boeing's recent 10K annual filing revealed that Starliner lost more than half a billion dollars in 2024 alone, an astonishing 523 million US dollars. That figure includes previously disclosed losses of 125 million in the second quarter and 250 million in the third. The remaining losses from the first and fourth quarters have not been detailed but contribute to the program's growing financial sinkhole. As a result, Starliner's total losses to date have skyrocketed to over 2 billion US dollars, a staggering sum that continues to climb. In fact, 2024 has now become the program's worst financial year yet, surpassing its previous record loss of 489 million in 2019. The reasoning behind these losses are clear. Boeing cites scheduled delays, higher testing, and certification costs, as well as higher costs for post-certification missions. Unfortunately, there is no sign that these costs will stabilize anytime soon. Even in its reports, Boeing admitted, risk remains that we may record additional losses in future periods. With no clear resolution in sight, Starliner's schedule has also been thrown into disarray. Boeing had initially planned to launch Starliner 1, its first official operational mission, by the end of 2024. However, that timeline is no longer feasible. Starliner 1 can only proceed once the spacecraft receives full certification, but given the ongoing issues with CFT-1, that certification is anything but guaranteed. Before Boeing can even consider moving forward, they need to publicly acknowledge and address the underlying problems. In the worst case scenario, NASA may require Boeing to conduct an additional crewed test flight before granting certification. If that happens, the financial and scheduling impacts would be severe, pushing the operational debut even further into the future. Adding to the uncertainty, Boeing's commercial crew program is about to experience a major leadership change. Mark Nappy, Vice President and Program Manager of Boeing's Commercial Crew Program, is set to retire. His replacement is expected to be John Mulholland, the same person who previously held this role during Starliner's troubled early years. Given that Starliner's progress during that time was slow and plagued by setbacks, this transition may not bring the fresh direction the program desperately needs. In fact, it could introduce further disruptions, making an already difficult situation even worse. 
Looking ahead, the future of Starliner appears bleak. Boeing's spacecraft is in a weak position, both in terms of technical capabilities and competitiveness. The market is already dominated by SpaceX's Crew Dragon, which has proven to be reliable and cost-effective. Meanwhile, Sierra Space's Dream Chaser is preparing to enter service, offering additional competition. If Boeing cannot turn the program around, Starliner risks following the same path as SLS toward cancellation. Another failed project would mark a significant defeat for the aerospace giant. Beyond Boeing's struggles, United Launch Alliance is also facing a major setback. Recent updates indicate that ULA had begun destacking its Vulcan rocket at the Government Vertical Integration Facility. This hardware was likely being prepared for the USS F-106 mission, a critical national security launch. The reason for this decision? ULA needs to make space for an upcoming Atlas V launch carrying Amazon's Kuiper satellite constellation. In theory, this move allows ULA to speed up its work, ensuring that Kuiper remains on schedule, while Vulcan awaits its long overdue launch certification. However, the reality is far less promising. Vulcan was supposed to be ULA's next-generation workhorse, yet it remains stuck in limbo due to unresolved certification challenges following its CERT-2 flight. Ideally, the rocket should have been fully prepared to launch as soon as certification was granted. Instead, it is now being sidelined, leading to further delays and inefficiencies. This is especially concerning given ULA's massive backlog of missions. Years of delays have pushed numerous launches into 2024 and 2025, creating an overwhelming schedule. This year alone, ULA has committed to launching 11 missions with Vulcan, a number that seems nearly impossible to achieve given the rocket's current pace. For now, the next major hurdle is the USS F-106 mission tentatively slated for April, assuming Vulcan secures its long-awaited launch certification in time. Even if that mission proceeds as planned, the challenges ahead are substantial. Beyond the National Security Space Launch Phase 2 missions, ULA has also been selected for Phase 3 contracts, further increasing its obligations. Additionally, once Atlas V's remaining hardware is exhausted, Vulcan must take over Amazon's Kuiper launches. Boeing's struggles with SLS and Starliner combined with ULA's Vulcan delays highlight a shifting landscape in aerospace. As competitors surge forward, legacy companies face mounting pressure to adapt or risk obsolescence. While Boeing scrambles to salvage its programs, SpaceX and others continue to redefine the industry's future. Will Boeing turn things around, or is this the beginning of the end for its dominance? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Great SpaceX will be here to track every development as the next chapter unfolds. This has been Kevin, and until next time, keep looking up.